In this Figma tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a button and add a hover effect and even add a click effect, or in this case, it'll be on pressed. I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's go ahead and start by creating a button. So I have a frame out here. Just create any old blank frame. This will be what we kind of prototype and preview on. And then come outside of the frame and let's start creating. We're going to make a button. So I'm going to press F. This is the frame tool. It's kind of this little hash symbol up here in the toolbar. And then we're going to click and drag to create a button, essentially. Now, whatever size you want this to be, I'm going to set it in or input it to be 300 by 100. And this will change as we put text into our button frame. So this button, if we want to, we can kind of double click on this frame label and kind of label this as a button. We're going to want to add some text to this as well. So I'm going to press T for the type tool and just kind of click. And we're going to add the word button. And once I have this out here, I can highlight it, come over to my text properties, and I'm going to make this bold at, let's go with 24 point, maybe even larger, 30. There we go. And then we're going to select both the button and the text, or both the frame and the text, and create an auto layout. We can do this by clicking and holding shift while we select both the frame and the text, or just selecting both by clicking and dragging. Once we do that, we're going to create an auto layout. This auto layout places the button text inside of the frame, and it allows us to change the padding around the outside. I'm going to make sure it's centered here, and then by clicking and dragging on one of these corners, we can actually change the height and the width, and the button label will stay in the center. So just kind of fit it the way that you want it to fit. And we'll go ahead and style this as our default button state. So we have a fill right now of white. We could have a fill of none if we would like, just by clicking and removing that fill. And then we could add a stroke to this, maybe a two point stroke of black. And so now we have a stroke around our button. We could even round the corners just by clicking on this corner radius up here and maybe selecting 100 to completely round the corners and make this more of a circular button. Okay, so once we have that default state created, we're going to want to make sure it's selected. And we're going to come up here where we have create component. We need to create a component and some variants that we can prototype to add the hover effect. So to create a component with a frame selected, we can press option command K. That's also alt Control K if you're on Windows, or we can just click this button up here. And now this button has changed to a component which has the component symbol. You can see that in your layers panel over here. So with this button selected, let's create two variants of the button within the component. To do that, we're going to click the Add Variant button up here. And you can see now we have two states or variants, and the component shows that by putting a little dotted line square around it. So everything within that purple box it are states of this button. And we can actually add another state if we select this, add another variant down here. So let's call this middle one our hover. This first one can be default, and this last one could be on click, for instance. So if we click on this first one, we can edit all of the styles over here on the right-hand side, and we can even edit the properties. If we click on the second one, we'll see in the properties, it just says variant two. We could actually rename that really quickly to hover. And then we could click on the third one, rename that property to on click, for instance. Now you can see as I drop this list down, we have all three states. And we have them defined on each of these variants. So the hover state, we need to add some kind of difference so that when we hover, that's what happens, right? That's what we're animating to. So when I have this hover state selected, I'm going to come over here and add a fill of a really bright yellow. That'll be our hover state. And then on the on click or on pressed state, when you click down on the mouse and it shows a difference, we're going to add a new fill. And this fill, maybe we'll just, just so that we can see it, we're going to add a bright blue. That'll be when we click, we're going to see that. Cool. So we have this component set up as far as the styling goes. Now what we need to do is add our interactions. 
So let's make sure we have our component selected. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And we're going to click on, instead of the design tab, we're going to click on the prototype tab. Now with the prototype tab selected, you can see as I hover over each of these variants, I've got this little plus icon on the right hand side. I can click and drag to create interactions between the variants. So we can click and drag from this default state to the hover state. And it creates a little arrow right here. And on the right hand side, we can see the interaction we've just added. So in this case, it says on click. What we want is on hover or while hovering. And while hovering, we want to change it to the hover state, perfect. And the animation we want is kind of up to you. Do you want it to be instant? Do you want it to dissolve? Or did you do a couple of different things and you want it to smart animate, which means Figma will determine what kind of animation is probably best to go from one to the other. In this case, I'm just gonna click dissolve. And we can actually see a preview of that animation right here. So as I hover over this preview section, it shows the animation. And then we can adjust some of the options here, the easing, the time it takes, the effect, which is dissolve. But all of that I'm gonna leave. We've created a hover interaction from this to this. Now what we would need is while we're hovering over it, we might be clicking on it, right? So we need something to indicate that. So I'm gonna click on this variant. We're still in the prototype tab over here. But with this variant, I'm gonna click and drag to the on click state. Now this one, instead of on click, because we're not really going to create an interaction, in your actual document, you would create maybe with the component of this button, you would create an on click and it would actually take you somewhere, right? Whatever you wanted that button to do. In this case, if we're just doing the style, instead of on click, I'm gonna do while pressing because that will allow it to go back to the hover state when you release the mouse. If we just do on click, it's actually gonna change it to the on click state and never let us go back. So we're gonna do while pressing. So while we click down the mouse, we're gonna see the other style that's supposed to be the on click style. I hope that makes sense. The animation we want here is, in my case, I think this would be instant. I think you would wanna see it instantly. So there we go. We've got our interactions set up. To preview this, let's zoom out a little bit, come back over to our main, uh, our main frame over here. And we need to go to our assets panel where we've created components. So all our components are gonna show up there. We have a button component. So we're gonna drag this button out. And now we have a button on our main frame here. Now, why does this look different than this? Well, this is the original component. This is where you're creating and editing all the states, all the variants, and all the interaction that happens with that component. This, and anything you drag out of here, is an instance of that component. So we could have multiple here, we could duplicate them. I'm gonna hold Option or Alt if you're on Windows and duplicate this component. We can see in our Layers panel that on this MacBook Air frame, we have different buttons. With these different components, and there's different ways of doing this, but as an example, uh, you could change the text of these components. And depending on your auto layout properties, it'll actually change the size of the button and you can do a lot of things, but we're not gonna get into that. It's just that you can create all these different instances and even change the text and the components. Whatever text you have over here is just simply the default. So when you drag out that component, it's always gonna say button or whatever you have over there. Anyway, let's go ahead and prototype this. Let's show you what this looks like and hopefully it does work, right? So we're gonna go present, which is this little uh, play button up here. It's gonna show us our MacBook Air frame, actually puts a little MacBook skin around it. Let's check the hover interaction. So as we hover over these buttons, they should go to yellow and they should dissolve in and out. Perfect, now if we click, we should see that blue. So if we click and hold while pressing, remember that interaction, it's actually showing that blue. And as we let go of the mouse, it goes back to the hover state since we're still hovering over it. Same thing with this guy. So any of your buttons are gonna have that same interaction. So Fig Figma's awesome. This is my favorite thing. The prototyping side of Figma, let's exit out of this preview, is being able to create these components that have all these interactions baked in. 
and then building out your designs with those components. It's almost like programming, but visually. That's how to uh, create a hover effect and also just create like an on-click effect and create a button as a whole. A lot more than maybe you came here for, but hopefully you learned a thing or two here in Figma. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys in the next video.